Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some brand new products from the Dina Wakely um, Summer of Release 2020, which is some new gloss sprays in some of the metallics and um, paler colours. So I'm starting off in my blue Dina Wakely journal and I'm gessoing my page, um, for, particularly for this technique, because I want the colours to resist each other when they're sprayed on top of each other. This page is inspired by a piece I saw on the Dina Wakely Kindred Artist page by a very talented Indian artist called Nithka Venkat. I really apologise if I um, mispronounced your name. Um, and she just did this beautiful page using texture paste and some of these colours and it really inspired me to think, could you recreate that using the gloss sprays? And the answer is a resounding yes. So the gloss sprays I'm using are the sand, apricot, gilt and medieval. The gilt and medieval have metallic shine to it so they've got some I think mica powders within them so they get a beautiful glow on the page and you can see by putting the resist oh, the sprays over the top of the gesso it um, gives you that beautiful resist. You get those sort of um, pockets of colour resisting against each other in the background, which to me gives a really aged, worn, grungy effect, which is what I wanted. Where some of the colours have dulled down a little bit, I've added some new colours. So I added some set more sand over the top. I'm adding some more of the medieval over the top as well. Now, I was actually working in a cardboard box uh, for those people who are new to the gloss sprays, they are amazing, but they do spray everywhere and they are acrylic sprays, so they do stick everywhere. So um, if you have got a box to spray in, that's really good. If you do find you get spray everywhere that you didn't want to have, um, hand sanitizer or alcohol spray will get it off, um, but spraying in a box is a really good idea. So this is um, one of the pieces that was sort of inspired by um, Nitha's piece um, and it was using the cathedral windows. Now I love using these cathedral windows but I've never really used the white ones and it just gave such a ghostly effect on the page which I absolutely adored. So I'm using a range of the large and small windows just to sort of create this building effect in the background and this is sort of all about building up layers I suppose. So I've got that grunge brickwork in the background. Now I'm adding the windows over the top and I'm just using gel medium over the bottom and over the top to make sure that they're fully adheres and they're translucent so you can see the colour coming through from behind. Um, <clears throat> I'm using my heat gun to speed things up because I'm very impatient so um, you can lift leave this to dry naturally it doesn't take too long but if you're impatient like me um, having your heat tool to do that as well is really really handy so then I'm going to do some texture paste using um, this darkroom doors stencil this is a large darkroom door stencil just in the brickwork but any sort of masonry type pattern will work and the texture paste I'm using is from Ranger it's the Ranger crackle paste um, which is um, opaque it's a white one so I think you can get it in clear I'm using the opaque one and I'm just putting on relatively thinly through my stencil so um, one of the things with this texture paste is that sort of the thinner you put it on the finer the crackle will be and um, obviously it will take less time to dry and I don't particularly want it that thick in my journal either so I'm, I just want the appearance I suppose of texture in the background now again with uh, texture paste, two things, usually you don't see me cleaning my stencils but when I'm using texture paste I do and also with this texture paste um, it is really advisable to actually leave it to dry naturally because you get better crackles with it but again I'm impatient so I think I use a heat gun on this to dry it off because it's quite fine the way I've applied it, it was actually already starting to crackle but um, I would suggest if you get to this stage to leave it until it crackles naturally. The other thing that you saw me do is I just used a sharp um, Stanley knife to scrape out the texture paste in the centre of the spine of my book. The reason for that is I didn't, I wanted it so it would still close. Obviously I couldn't make sure it closed because if I did it would stick together but by scraping out um, as much as possible it means it will has a better chance of closing. Now I'm going to make a glaze to go over the top of my page. So I'm just using some of the umber. 
and I'm mixing it with the glazing medium from Dina Wakely. So if you don't have glaze, glazing medium, you could do this with a gel medium, but the, the glazing medium is there for a purpose. And you can see here, it just gives that beautiful aged effect over the top. I'm wiping away some of it and it sits in the crackle. So the whole reason I wanted the glazing medium is I wanted something that would catch in those little bits of the crackle um, to highlight them a little bit more. So once I've dried my glaze off, I'm then going in with um, my heat tool again and um, going in with my Stabilo Oil Pencil just to outline and to bring some definition to those windows again. So while on the white ones it, you know, probably pops it out a bit more than it should do, it's again just about drawing attention to what's in the background a little bit. The Stabilo Oil Pencil is fantastic because it's water activated. So you can go in and activate it like I'm doing now and you get really natural shadows from it. Um, for someone who's not particularly great at drawing, just being able to water, uh, activate the pencil and it sort of bleeds in, it does what it needs to do without me having to worry about it very much is, you know, fantastic. I, I enjoy that process anyway. So this is adding a little bit of depth and shading to the windows in the background. I'm also going in and doing a little bit of work on the brickwork. Uh, it's not really necessary because I decided in the end I was going to do some dripping over the top too, which was going to hide that somewhat. Now I'm going in and protecting my book again. And usually I would get my box back out again, but to be honest, I didn't want to get the box back out again. <laughs> It's too much hassle. So I just got the medieval and I'm going up along the top of my page and spraying it until there's enough there that it will drip down on the page. Now you'll notice here it's sort of got a very blue undertone to it, which I really love. And you'll see it, um, it just falls really naturally down the page. The great thing about, um, I suppose, these sprays over what I've done is because everything at every layer has been sealed, so acrylic paint is type plastic, so that's sealed. The glaze or gel medium is all sealed. So it's um, allowing that spray to sort of run and drip and do everything it needs to and it will resist off those other layers as well. So you can still see some of that glazing in the um, texture paste at the top. You can see it sort of went round the windows and you can, um, I don't know if you noticed or not, but with the, um, with the fine paintbrush I actually help direct some of those drips a little bit down my page. One thing when you are doing drips in your journal is try and avoid the middle spine um, which is hard, difficult because it naturally wants to go in there but um, if you have too much liquid in the spine area that's where your pages can get a little weaker and fall out. Now in the blue journal because the page pages and the paperweight is a lot thicker it's not so much of an issue but in some of the finer journals you can find that's those the pages are weaker and sometimes they can come out of the, the book a little bit. With my final piece I decided I want to put in some figures so I've just used some gel medium and these are the two figures from Dina's um, collage tissues so the two abstract figures and um, just be aware, I've used gel medium to glue these down, but I've also got Stabilo Oil Pencil down in the background. So you just need to be um, mindful that the Stabilo Oil Pencil doesn't reactivate and get a bit mucky. Because I'd already watered it down a little bit, it wasn't too much of an issue, um, but you may find some of that pencil work moves. So usually your Stabilo Oil Pencil should be the last thing you do on a page. One of the final things I'm doing now is going in with some of that gilt again, which is a metallic gold colour, and adding some spatter over the top, sort of to tie the whole page together, and then going in with some of the white gloss spray as well to do the same. And up the top of the page, you'll notice I've got um, some quote chips. These are the Tim Holtz quote chips from Ideology. And I'm just peeling off the extra chipboard that's on them. They're quite thick, which is fantastic, but for putting in my art journal, I like to have them quite fine. So I just peel off the excess chip and stash that to use in another project, another stage. Once I finish that, I'm just going around with my Stabilo Oil Pencil again, just to outline that and make it pop out a little bit from the background. 
and that's pretty much my finished page. So thank you so much to Nith for the inspiration. Um, it was just, it just really caught my eye. Um, and it was the perfect project to play around with your new gloss sprays because the colorways just really, really um, work with these beautiful sort of building type pages. And um, so that grungy effect, which I love anyway, with anything that drips and, and splatter over the top. So it works really, really well. And having that um, gilt, which has sort of got a really warm, yellowy, almost cheddar effect to it, and the apricot, which is sort of that paler orange, um, gives a real warmth to the page as well. So here are a close-up of my final pages. Um, check out in my description box below. You'll find all the links to the um, Dina Wakeley products I've used and link to where the new gloss sprays are. I hope you really enjoyed this. Until next time, bye for now.